today I'll show you how to format an external hard drive and then use it for your time machine backup. All right, so first things first, make sure that you plug in your external drive to the cable that it comes with and then into your computer. It'll come up asking if we want to use it as a backup. Right now I'm going to say do not use so that I can um, actually format the drive first. But if it doesn't show up on your desktop like it does here, just go up to Finder, down to Preferences, and then make sure that all of these are checked, and then you'll be good. So to format the hard drive, you're going to want to go into your Disk Utility, which if it's not down on the dock, go ahead and go into Launchpad. Go into your Other, and then we'll go into Disk Utility. Next, you want to select on the hard drive that you have plugged in, not your internal drive. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's your external one. And then we're gonna to go to partition. And we're gonna move it down to one partition and we're gonna name it backup. And then the format is gonna be into the Mac OS extended journaled. And then we also wanna go into options and we wanna make sure that it is a GUID partition. We're gonna click OK and then we're just gonna hit apply. And then partition, right? And then you're gonna get the screen that comes up and says, do you want to use backup, which is the drive that we just formatted, to backup with Time Machine? And then I'm gonna select to use as backup disk. If you accidentally hit do not use, you can always go into your Time Machine preferences by going into System Preferences going into your time machine, making sure that it is turned on, but you might have to click the lock and type in your password in order to be able to make changes. So once the lock is unlocked, then you can click on, select the backup drive that we just formatted, use, and then click use disk. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna start um, to configure to the disk and then it'll start the backup. This one is 110 seconds. So it'll tell you when it'll do the backup. From there, what it's gonna do is it's gonna have hourly backups for the past 24 hours and then daily backups for the past month, weekly backups for all previous months. Um, and it's only gonna do a backup of what's been new. So this first initial backup is gonna take the longest because it is backing up everything that you have on your computer. After that, you just plug it in. It'll take you know anywhere from five minutes to half an hour depending upon how much data you have changed since your previous backup. But what's nice is you can just basically plug this drive in now and let it go. The computer will recognize it and automatically start your time machine backup then.